Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you a little trick you can apply to diagrams in Excel and uh, this applies when your x-axis in the diagram is numbers like in this case I want to have a diagram which depicts my turnover and the way that turnover developed over the years so the thing is now if I just select that the, uh, you know those numbers and go to insert and let's say I pick a column diagram just go to column the problem is that what I would like to have is the years down here and the turnover as uh, columns now what I got here are one column is the years I mean one type of columns the blue ones are the years and the red ones are the turnover and those blue ones are you know I didn't I didn't want I just wanted the red ones and the years at the bottom. Instead of that, I just got like one, two, three, etc. at the bottom. Now, of course, one way to solve that problem is to delete, you know, just select the blue columns and, you know, delete them. So I got rid of the blue columns and then I can manually add the, the years to the x-axis by, you know, clicking with the, with the right mouse inside that diagram, select data. And then here I go to horizontal category axis labels, edit, and I just select my years. Okay, so that would be the kind of diagram I want. But you know, that's too many steps for me to remember. There, there must be an easier way, and there is. Let me just delete that diagram. The way to do it, so what you don't want to do, you don't want to go like that. And, and that because you would get this kind of diagram which is not like what we want so the trick is before you do the diagram just remove the label of the x-axis okay just gonna take that off and then I select and I insert diagram columns and voila I got like automatically the diagram that I wanted turnover and the years at the bottom. And then after I've done the diagram, I can easily add the x-axis label again without any repercussions on the diagram itself. Okay, I'm gonna repeat that. Let's say, let's say I want a line diagram. Okay, so I take off the label, select that, pick a line diagram, let's say this one, and bingo. There you go. And then, I just put in the lid. Mind you, that trick is only useful when you have when you have numbers as your x-axis. I mean, if you have if you have something like you know company, and here you have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and I. That you don't need that trick because in this case the x-axis is not numbers but text so that will work you know straight out of the box you see I don't need that that problem the problem arises with numbers because when you have numbers just let me get my numbers back when you have numbers Excel thinks Excel thinks that both numbers are supposed to be columns. That's why when you select the, you know, that, that number range as it is and add an, a, a diagram, it thinks that you want to depict both that and that. It doesn't know that that is the x-axis. Now, the way you trick Excel is that you remove the label. This way, Excel knows, wait a minute, there's something special about those numbers because they don't have a label as those. So it treats them differently. And in this case, it treats them as an x-axis. So that's why when you remove the label and select that, insert, it puts them down in the x-axis without having to go through all those steps, you know, of deleting that and uh, reinserting the x-axis as I've done before. You know, just get a, a clean diagram automatically. And then afterwards, you just, type in the label oh uh, yeah and another thing is when you have a diagram with just one line you don't need that here so you just remove it Bam. okay so that's my trick in 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 in, uh, in creating diagrams really fast especially diagrams where the x-axis is a bunch of numbers